Before you comment on how dirty the grill is, there are fewer sights, smells, and flavors that I enjoy more than grilling chicken. If you live in a small apartment, you gotta make do. We have our little gas cooker grill here. These things are great, worth the money. Whoa! This day in history, the grills fought back against their master. All right, well that chicken was awesome. And this is the wood for this current project. What we are gonna be building today, guys, is a two-door side cabinet with some Japanese and European influence. I have here some lovely maple, and you can kind of see some of the figure in there. I'm gonna plane that down so you can see it better, but basically, in a apartment, you gotta make the most of all the space that you've got. I've also got a little bit of ash over here from the big Yokozuna chest project from a while back. But like I was saying, in a small apartment, you have to make use of all the space that you got. And what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna build ourselves a little kind of a two door, um, I guess you could call it a side cabin. I've seen them described as somewhat. You can probably hear the baby belly aching back there. So we're gonna get started with this. First order of business is to get this big guy cut to size. This is gonna be the tallest portions. These are gonna be the sides. These aren't quite as figured, so I'm gonna save the super figured pieces for the front, meaning the and that'll be like the doors and the little edge trim pieces. So let's get this big guy playing down a bit and let's, uh, let's get this project started. Making Legos. There we go. All right, I am back. Got some water, and because I actually like my neighbors, I'm going to spare them the. Uh, constant smashing sound of me chiseling out these mortises and we're just going to do this the not really a cheater's way but the easy way because why not and it works both ways and i mean frankly the wood doesn't care how it's being worked <laughs> so why should i I had to pull my work a little bit closer to the uh, entry door because it is raining. But the nice thing is it gives me a little bit of background noise while I'm chiseling away here. Plus, with the summertime around here, it does cool things off and that's never a bad thing. You gotta take what you can get.
right, so hopefully you can get an idea of what we're going for with this. The original maple slides by themselves were not going to be as tall as I wanted them to be. I actually wanted this thing to be about 37 inches, and those were going to be about 5, 7 inches too short. So, we have our regular sides here, and we're just going to lap joint these little ash extensions. Now these are actually left over from the Yokozuna chest from almost uh, three years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. So these are edge jointed together and we're going to lap joint these on top of these pieces here. We got about one inches in. We're going to do about one inch on this side too. Glue them together, maybe put some dowels in there for some decorative and mechanical uh, connection. But that should be good. It's going to look kind of cool. This will be on top so you won't be immediately apparent as to what's been done but it still will look pretty cool, I think. important tool in the shop is of course your pocket knife every single time you always go to glue something at least every time I glue something there's always that annoying little dried bit there there we go well, I don't have enough clamps to do this whole thing lengthwise so because this is pretty flexible here we're just going to use some tape to hold that down For the, uh, this is actually one of the doors if I didn't explain it, so for the other one we're just going to do the same thing. Don't need to show that on camera, it's just the same process. Okay, through the power of editing, we got it back. It is uh, just screwed on there, I didn't do anything special with that. I did add some screws to the sides here just for some extra stability. I was thinking about doing cut nails, but I realized I'm actually out of cut nails, so <laughs> I'll have to get some more in the future. So now the next order of business is we are going to make the doors for this thing. I got both of them over here drying, and as soon as this glue is dry, we're going to get some of this cut down. This is actually the part I'm really looking forward to because these flames are quite nice. And since the doors are going to be the focal point of any piece like this, that is where I'm putting the most effort. This is not my best work, I'm going to admit. There's a bunch of stuff I would have liked to have done differently. I think the problem I'm struggling with is just the fact that having the baby and everything, there is no time to do anything super fine or super fast. But I'm doing the best I can with what I got, and I think that is the goal here. But other than that, I'm very happy with where it is, and uh, it is going to serve its purpose, even if it's not perfect. <laughs> Now that we got the doors fit, we're going to take them back off, sand everything down, put some finish on them, and then put them back on, and then uh, sand the rest. You can see what I was talking about. I have just a little gap there. I might actually go back to this project in the future and finish that up, but for now it really doesn't bug me because it does give you a place to actually open the door and close it, which is nice, and I guess that's kind of minimalist <laughs> at its best. Anyway, I'm going to get this thing done. I'm going to be happy when it's finished up, but... I'm going to be happier when that maple pops into that, so we'll see what she looks like. Okay, we're sanded down to 220, or up to 220, I should say. Fairly smooth. Let's see what happens here. That's pretty. Oh, yeah. I'm not unhappy with that at all. Well, at least one thing turned out right on this whole project. That maple's gorgeous. Very cool. I'm gonna work in a couple of coats of this and then let that cure up and then we'll do the other one. Yeah, check that out. I'm real happy with that. All right, final screw. Oh, 
and she's done. Okay, there are so many flaws with this thing, but I am very happy that the wood turned out decently like it did on the doors there. That maple's mighty pretty. The doors do open and they work. I'm gonna store stuff in there, that's the whole point of this thing. So I am gonna dub this the Wabi Sabi cabinet, and basically all that means is that it is what it is. I have worked on this thing for a very, very long time, and I'm just glad to be done with it. I really need the space inside more so than I need a perfect piece. I'll probably build a little spacer here just to work, but the doors do kind of hold themselves pretty well. I mean, it's not like it's uh, going to fall open or anything on the baby. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me on this build. This was, uh, like I said, probably the worst thing I've ever made, but it'll work. I'm just going to have to live with it. As the saying goes, wabi sabi. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. And a big thanks to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the ones that helped me purchase the maple for this project. As always, thanks for watching. Arigatou gozaimasu. Sayonara.